I'm scared. I'm nervous. It's not good. Hey guys, and welcome to Black Mesa. I have wanted to play this game for so long. In fact, I believe I bought it at least a year ago, maybe up to two years now, and it's just been sitting in my Steam library very patiently waiting. I don't know much about the Half-Life universe. I have played Portal 1 and Portal 2, which you can find on the channel. Be warned, I am extremely dumb in both of them, but I adored it. I loved Portal so much. It was amazing, incredible, but yeah, extremely dumb throughout that whole playthrough. So be warned if you head over and watch that. I know that Portal is in the Half-Life universe, but that's about all I know about Half-Life and Black Mesa. I decided to play Black Mesa. It could be a little bit of a controversial opinion. Uh, some prefer it, some prefer Half-Life. But I'm going to jump in with Black Mesa. I've done a fair bit of research which game to play and actually I also own Half-Life so if I decide that I'm really enjoying Black Mesa I would love to go in and check out Half-Life as well and just see what that is like compared to Black Mesa. I know that Black Mesa wasn't made by Valve but I'm pretty sure that Valve was so happy with what they've done here in Black Mesa that it sort of became an unofficial remake. I might be getting things a little bit butchered here but I didn't want to look too far into it other than googling Black Mesa versus Half-Life which to play. I didn't want any spoilers so I haven't been too heavy on the research but I'm pretty sure I'm happy with my decision to go with Black Mesa first and like I said I do have Half-Life as well so if I like this then I would love to try that and see what it's like but I think we are ready to begin. Uh, I ask for your patience and support through this trying time. I feel that it's going to be slightly difficult and I'm also worried it's going to be scary and I'm a big wimp so already I'm nervous but excited so let's go. Well here we go. I'm playing mouse and keyboard so wish me luck. <laughs> Black Mesa. <sighs> oh. Black Mesa inbound. Black Mesa Research Facility, New Mexico. Ooh. Good morning and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. Uh huh. The time is 8.47 a.m. Mm -hmm. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated high of 105 okay i work in celsius but i know that that's hot <laughs> is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times lucky sounds like heaven oh no i think i'm stuck oh no oh okay is that normal? Well, th this is lovely. There's nothing I can do. I can't get out any weapons. I would love a, a, a zoom in button. Inbound from level three dormitories to sector C test labs and control facilities. Okay. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond Sector C, you will need to return to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9 and board a high security train. Lady, I don't know, have a clue where I'm going. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing 
Before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. Fair. Sounds fair to me. Oh, look out there, what? <gasps> this is it, end of the line. Oh, oh. Due to the high toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. Oh, oh it's so pretty. Oh, wow. <laughs> what an amazing transit system. And just for little old me. All this for me. Oh, it's lovely. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Yes. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. I don't even think I can open the doors. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. Oh. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Gosh. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. Uh-huh. I, I I have a problem though. I cannot sit. I don't know how to sit. I'm already disobeying the rules. I'm just enjoying the journey. <laughs> I have to really admit though that I'm feeling scared. There's people. Okay, I feel a little bit better with people around. What's through there? This is like a roller coaster. And I don't like them. <laughs> this, it reminds me of that for sure. Hi. I'm feeling very lonely. Okay, that door is closing. Hmm. That is really impressive. Okay, we're off. Which way? Left or right? I guess right. What's happening? Oh, we went left, of course. A reminder that the Black Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the Level 3 facility. Mm -hmm. The semifinals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure broadcast transmission. Remember, more lives than yours may depend on your fitness. Right, so the things that's coming up the middle of my screen, is that about us? Gordon Freeman? Assignment, Anomalous Materials Laboratory. That has to be us. Clearance, level three. Do you have a friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Okay. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other oh, high tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruiting team. The Black Mesa facility is an equal opportunity employer. Wow. Look at you. Oh, look, one day that thing is going to turn evil. We're going to have to fight it, aren't we? Sector E, material transport? Transfer? Wow, that is so cool. Oh, I'd love to read that newspaper. Team acquires something. A reminder to all Black Mesa personnel, regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Mm -hmm. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. Okay, so no second chances. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive <sighs> or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. 
Oh, he's cool. It's like a giant ant. Terrifying, though. Look at that. That is radioactive. What? He's... Hang on. Did you just see that guy? Now arriving at Sector C test labs what was that? And control facilities. He was banging on that door. Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Okay, there's a guy coming. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Well, Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. Productive. There's a lot of stuff Morning, here. Mr. Mr. Freeman, okay, that's us. Looks like you're running late. Well, it's not my fault if your train is slow. What if I get back on the train? <laughs> I'm so naughty. Sorry, sorry. Present your ID to security officer on duty. Talk with personnel. Code accepted. Alright, so we're going to have a chat with him. What's pep in that step, Freeman? You're late enough as it is. <laughs> pep in that step. I... Why do you even bother putting in extra hours down at the hazard course? What? <laughs> like you'll ever do more than flip a switch or push a button around here. Oh, you don't have much faith in me, sir. To think. Mom wanted me to waste my money sleeping through college courses when now I'm getting paid <laughs> to sleep out here. Nice. Bit lazy, are you? Go on, get. How am I supposed to catch my beauty sleep when you're staring at me like that? Oh no, I can already see my future as talking to these people over and over and over again. Oh, sorry, Doc, I have to stay at my post. Has anybody ever told you you're a cunning linguist? <laughs> Man, this job is boring me to tears. <laughs> I'll meet up with you after my shift's over. <laughs> Don't you have some buttons to push or something? Yeah, I'm pressing one, I'm pressing E. Hey, catch me <laughs> later. You, me, and Calhoun will go out and get that beer he owes you. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I got a job to do. No. We can talk on my lunch break. Okay. Uh, can we do this later? All right. Oh, but I, I can't help it. I cannot help it. I can't. But maybe later. Not now. I'll, I'll stop by when I'm doing my rounds. It's difficult for me to walk away, I tell you. Ooh. Well, that must be your little room, isn't it? Hey, catch me later. We'll we'll talk about that science stuff some more. Okay, buddy. Hi. Oh no, he's Aw oh, man, you cut the ponytail. Sell out. Me? Oh, Gordon must have had a little ponytail. Sorry. What's your name? Oh. Anomalous Materials, Black Mesa Research Facility. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Right. Just one of those days, I guess. Uh-huh. That's all right. We're also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you've gotten to your hazard suit. Okay, well, where's that? Thank you. Thank you very much. What's that thing? Oh. That's not me. I'm gonna have a look at this thing. Get away from there, Freeman. Why? I'm expecting an important message. Oh, it's not your computer. It's out in the open. Gordon, don't touch that. <laughs> Go use another computer. This is. This doesn't belong to you. This is just out in the open. Who are you? There was someone downstairs asking about you. Or was it upstairs? Mm hmm. Uh, hold, just hold on for one. Oh, go away! I, I'm not a fan of that guy. I don't know what his name is. I uh, he's very mean to me. Gordo, you're on sundial, and we need you on stopwatch. <laughs> Up to it. Right. What are you doing? Still running around up here? <gasps> right. We cannot enjoy anything. Cannot have any fun. Doctor. Oh. Excuse Hi. me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. I have no friends here. Nobody cares about me. Please secure a line call to... Can I use the phone then? I want to use the phone. No. Okay. Try hitting control, alt, delete. 
<laughs> control Quit alt delete. Over my shoulder, you make me <laughs> oh, this is so funny. We can do so many things. Time to make tracks, Gordon. Okay, I'm going. So research development personnel. Let's go. Oh, I just want to. I want to touch everything. I want to. Good morning, Wreck Dr. everything. <laughs> Hi. Can't you see I'm busy? Well, everyone's busy. Nobody has time for a chit chat. Oh. I've got a bin. I'm going to go give this to my friends up here. Do you want this? Ah, nothing like the morning of a big test. I can't remember the last time I've seen the lab abuzz with such a... No. I'm going to give it to this fellow. Here. Stop this very instant. Okay. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? I'm going. I'm going. I promise I will behave. that thing oh it's so interesting doctor pialowski report to super cool. laser lab please I'm not real sure which way i'm actually meant to go maybe later gordon okay absolutely nobody wants to be friends they don't want to talk to me i feel that gordon actually has no friends here Sergeant. You look at that. Good morning. Freeman Gordon. actually did show up. Oh, this is where this I'm morning. meant to be. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. <laughs> Good morning, Freeman. Hi. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, nice. They didn't believe I'd even turn up. That's lovely. That is, isn't it? Oh, some first aid. Oh, we don't need that right now. Oh my gosh, I can just break so many things hello gordon i'm busy it's really hard to make friends big day today eh freeman is it we can talk at lunch gordon right i give up nobody cares about me no one wants to be my friend what about um you will you talk to me sorry mr freeman i'm on duty right now uh-huh i've got this under control gordon well, is this my room? My desk? Hello? Hello? Later, Gordon. <sighs> well, I guess this is not my desk, not my room. Lab notices. Um, before I go any further, do I have anything on screen that actually tells me what I'm meant to be doing? I don't think so. I have no no waypoints um no nothing i think we're just exploring right now you're living in the past that experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science Ooh. how much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction though you should focus on inventing something new and unique he does have a point oh but this is more than replication i assure you for one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated- Ah, I can't stand to hear another word of this malarkey. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Don't mind him, but here's something to think about for the next time. You and your sugar-coated airsots are absolutely full of it! Right? Creativity is the art of hiding your influence. Now let's get back to work. We should at least try to look busy. Try to look busy. Huh? That's so funny. That guy was really unhappy with this fellow. Read, please. Important. Increases in exotic matter. Decrease stability of crystalline structure. This can increase resonance effects to dangerous levels. Okay, look, I've got to say that's way too scientific for me. I don't think I'm qualified to even work here. Hello. Gordon, you know we both have more important things to be doing. Fine. Well, what am I even meant to be doing? I've, I've got to be honest with you, I don't know. Has anyone actually even seen your degree, Freeman? What are you insinuating? Wait? How dare you take that? 
Hello? I'm not one for idle chatter, Gordon. No, nobody is, apparently. Please excuse me, Gordon. Maxwell's demon. It's cold in here. Nobody likes me, and I don't know where I'm even meant to be. Contact Dr. F Foreman. Oh. Well, there's nothing I can do. Hello. Hello, Dr. Cross. This is going to have to wait, Gordon. Jeez. Right, I'm out of here. Nobody wants to be friends. Nobody likes me. I give up. That hallway looks scary. Security officer, Schwenk reports. Medical emergency in administration center. I'm going down here because it's scary. I need to face my demons at some point. Morning, champ. Oh, it's just Hello. a little... It's just a, a, a team room. That's not scary at all. Hello. Another day, another dollar. These people are much nicer. Sorry. Do I waltz into your office unannounced and proceed to run amok? I think not. No. I trust this morning find you well. Can I take your coffee and throw it? You're very grumpy. Can this wait till I'm off break? Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm cooking food. I love it. Good heavens! What the hell? Oh no, I got an achievement. Ruin the microwave casserole. <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? Hell yeah. We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. No, it doesn't work. Uh, that was, um, never mind. That was you know who's lunch. Oh no. Well, who's you know who? Agent oh. Is that me? Oh no, I'm Freeman. I have. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? I don't know where I'm going. Where's my room? Where's my locker? Freeman. Oh, look at my little room. Little baby. Gordon Freeman. I do have a degree. Thank you very much, grumpy lady. Thank you very much. Uh, what is that thing? Can I... I can't take it with me. And apparently, I cannot close my locker. So Triple all my stuff is now just gone. Preposterous. And these ludicrous penny loafers. You look nice. Nobody here has an eye for fashion. <laughs> what do you want to Does wear? Does this lab coat make me look fat? <laughs> Just a minute, Gordon. What's wrong with that guy? Oh, boy. Can't go in there. Oh, it's, um... We found the bathrooms. Rat. No toilet paper. No... Be a dear and fetch me a roll of toilet paper. Uh, yes. Ah, Hello? yes, sir. Hello? Could somebody get me some toilet this paper? This looks like a paper towel, but I'm going to give that to him anyway just to be annoying excuse me minor emergency <laughs> i'm trying it doesn't go in oh no i'll have to try this it must oh that's oh, better thank heavens i'm in dire need of some toilet paper <laughs> what about that you want that come out just a minute <laughs> Oh gosh, I'm gonna put that there so he gets stuck. I'm I'm such a bad person. Are you coming out? Hello. Occupied. Okay. Well, I don't know if he actually comes out. Never mind. Oh, I vaguely remember something about a hazmat suit. In that case, in that case, you know what? I'm not going there because that's where I need to go. And I know that there is one room that I haven't been to, maybe a couple. Hello. 
Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Yes, I know. I know. I'm looking around. Well, we cannot get in there. That's locked. Chaos in the two-body problem in the spherical universe. This is just going to go right over my head, isn't it? Hi. Hold it right there, Mr. Freeman. I got explicit <gasps> oh. orders not to let you through without your hazard suit on. Okay, sir. I know where it is. Just head on up to the personal facilities and grab your ATB suit. I'll be right here waiting for you. Yes, sir. So this is where I come back when I have my hazard suit on. So that is good. That is good. I do actually kind of love that it doesn't tell you what to do or where to go. But I just want to make sure that I've looked around everywhere here before I get my hazard suit on. Hi. Gordon, this had better be important. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, I thought not. He doesn't seem to be very well liked. This is going to have to wait, Gordon. Huh? You forgot to carry the two. Or was it the three? Mm -hmm. This guy's by himself? I don't know about that, Dr. Truman. Ooh. Seems to me that he's just spouting buzzwords in his research papers that he picked up from perusing popular scientific periodicals. Uh -huh. He doesn't like Dr. Truman. <sighs> Another improper use of the Boltzmann constant. <laughs> he sounds a bit particular, doesn't he? Okay, well that was a good little room. Nice. Sector B, coolant reserve. Ooh. What's this place? You got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. Okay. That's all right. There's been a lot of suits coming and going. Probably union busters. Okay. Well, I'm, now I'm I'm satisfied. I have looked in all of the rooms, I dare say. And I've ruined someone's lunch in the microwave, so bonus points for that. Let's go and get our hazard suit on. This door? Yes. I'll see if that guy's come out of the toilet yet. Oh, he's still there? Dude. <coughs> Occupado. What are you doing in there for so long? It's just weird. All right. Uh, charger ready. Charger empty. What's this stuff? Well, that's the thing that I need. I need you. Oh. The HEV Hazardous Environment Vehicle Mark 4. Oh, lovely. Okay. Nice. User 4176 Gordon Freeman. Oh, wow. It's. Weapons registry menu selection. This thing is very cool. Oh wow, very fancy. Have a very safe day. How do you like my oh, uniform? I remember my days in the hazardous environment suit. Was that to your liking? <laughs> yes? No? Of course, at the time it was Mark III. Mm. Mind you, the base color wasn't so loud. Right, he doesn't like this either. And the helmet wasn't optional or ventilated. Oh, wow. There wasn't an integrated waste disposal system either. <laughs> Count your lucky stars. Right. Have you ever seen those electromyographic sensors in the old biomechatronic Mark I? <laughs> A marvel of modern engineering. I worked on the underwater breathing apparatus for the suit, but it was eventually discarded. Okay. I say, that suit certainly flatters your fundament. Thank you. I hope that's a compliment. They need you in the test chamber. Okay. We can talk at lunch, Gordon. All right. Well, it's down to business then. Can I show anyone else my nice suit? What about the guys in the cafeteria? Little lunchroom. Hi. You better make like diarrhea and run. <laughs> They've been paging you all morning, Dr. Freeman. <laughs> Best get downstairs before you cause any more disaster. Right. Well, 
This is no good. Look, I, I so want to show on. people anything, my outfit. Go bother someone else. All right, never mind. What's that thing? Okay, I'm out of here. I'm going. I'm going. I have a run button and everything. I'm even pressing the run button. <laughs> hey, buddy. Go right on through, sir. Thank you. Oh, look at that. It's like Looks a... like you're in the barrel today. It's like an eye scanner. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Before I forget, me and the boys were thinking about some poker tonight. I'll keep you posted. Thanks. That's kind. Well, get going. Okay, we actually have one person that seems to like us. Knock them dead down there, Gordon. Thank you. Okay, this is where we're meant to be. Just quickly save my game. I need to get... uh used to the saves oh working as a team black mesa located in the scenic black mesa desert black mesa research facility is situated on 2,000 square miles of land and employs one and a half thousand people from five countries and four states excuse me you're pushing me towards the wall Oh, that's that thing. We are the industry leader in the use of robotics. We employ robots in all areas of the facility, freeing up an average of 3.2 workers per robot. Very, very cool. Hmm. Nice. I've oft been told my left side was better. Oh, that's you there, isn't it? Aren't you fancy? Code message for Captain Lovely. Oh. Innovation. My goodness, I'm handsome. <laughs> Already a world leader in quantum physics, Black Mesa Research Facility is leading the field in materials research. When it comes to protecting science, this guy's on your side. Black Mesa Security Force. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Okay, well, just waste your time looking at these pictures that I'm probably sure that you've seen many many times the hydroelectric dam the black mesa hydroelectric dam is the largest dam in the southwest it not only produces Ooh. power for the black mesa research Ooh, facility calling, but son. also the surrounding three states wow very impressive Look at that poise, that grace. <laughs> he's still admiring himself you're a bit strange do we go down the elevator? Not just yet. Safety. Our record speaks for itself. Oh, that's that little that little uh, train thing I was in. Very cute. Innovative. Our tram system is really cool. It was cool. I would have preferred to sit. It seemed a little bit risky. Visionary always looking to the future that's cool that should be the last slide i think there's only three slides it's a triangular shaped little thingy isn't it yeah three slides responsible black mesa research facility is a proud sponsor of the new mexico adopt a highway litter campaign together we can keep black mesa clean Recycling. The Black Mesa Research Facility annually recycles 98.3% of its biological, chemical, and mechanical waste. We are the industry leader in green tech. That is actually impressive. Well, I think so. <laughs> Leadership. The Black Mesa Research Facility is a worldwide leader in the field of fluid dynamics. Very cool. All right, I think we are ready danger oh man i've got to touch it please i have to touch that thing oh well never mind let's move on oh well not in there we must have to go in here all righty are we going where we must be we're going down Let's go. 
This is probably the slowest that anyone's gone. <laughs> Trying to get down to this elevator, this next floor. I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. It was, oh, look at that ladder. <gasps> What's down here? Is there even anything here? I went all the way down that ladder and there's nothing here. There's like kind of rust on the floor. I'm not looking for secret things. <laughs> I'm looking for secret things, but... There's nothing. Okay. Oh, that's not where I go, is it? Oof. How do I get off? How do I get off? Oh no. Jeez. All right. Uh, um, I think we're here. Hello. I'm here. Can this wait? Well, no. I'm here for a reason. What's that thing? Oh, I'm just touching things that I'm not qualified to touch. What about you? Hello. Oh, he doesn't even say anything. Jeez. Okay. Whatever. Whatever to you, too. Oh, no. I don't think I should touch any of this stuff. Caution. Laser. Sure, resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure these superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. How curious. The acousto optic modulators are on the fritz again. I don't know what that is. I assure you, we've compensated for any contingency. Okay, so something's gone weird then? I is he gonna check or he just... Okay. What's up with it, buddy? If this is anything less than a full-scale code red calamity, I'm not interested. <laughs> Alright. Hi. Hold, just hold on for one moment. I'm, I'm just um bothering people. I'm just a nuisance. What's up, Doc? We can go here. This is our floor. It's been a mess down here this morning. Have fun. Oh, nice. Test lab. That's where we have to go. Not now, Gordon. <laughs> Gordon Freeman. Hi. Can this wait? No. You forgot to put your rubbish in the bin. I I want to put... Yes. Put the rubbish in the bin, please. Oops. Uh-oh. If another instrument malfunctions today, I'm going to explode. Oh, please no. relax. Things could be much, much worse. There. I'm, I'm going. I'm going now. Control room. Ah, Gordon, there you are. Hi. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. Ah. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. Right. We've boosted the anti mass spectrometer to 105%. Uh huh. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. Right. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. The test chamber. Okay, thank right. you, sir. Come on then. I'll walk you down. Can I throw things at you? <laughs> Eli has been busy making last minute preparations for the new experiment. Uh-huh. Eli, right. Don't, don't know who he is. Oh, there he is. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon. Good morning. Ooh. Hi. I'm glad you're here. These last minute changes. They're a bit strange to just... Oh! It's about to go critical. Oh, no! That's not good. Uh-oh. What in the blazes is going on oh, with failure. our Failure. It was never meant to do this in the first place. Huh? Oh. That's not good. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. <gasps> you reckon? It's Run a... along, Gordon. <laughs> we'll be but a moment. It's a catastrophic failure. Are you guys okay? Go on, Gordon. We'll take it from here. Okay. Can I do anything? Can I touch anything? 
All right. Let's go. Where do I go then? Oh. Do I just leave? Hmm? What the hell does PC Logan do? I have this funny feeling that if I leave this room, I just think no that to it's going to go boom as soon as I walk out of this room. Hang on. I can't leave here either. Where am I to go? Here, do you want your piece back? I don't know about this, Izzy. I'll be caught. We'll be laughing about it. Okay. Whilst sipping champagne. Let's um let's go somewhere else. See you boys. Good luck. Oh, what a cool elevator it rotates. Very fancy. By Becquerel's ghost. The radiation level is off the charts. That's not good. We Make need to get haste, a test then. done. They're waiting for you down in the test chamber. Okay, so we can still this is far do the glory. test. I had envisioned as an undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, yet I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. <laughs> Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now. You're overreacting. <sighs> I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory mm. tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha. Huh. Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. <laughs> I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see oh. how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. It's high time I took a break from all this. Oh, wow. Certainly. But before you do, activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro channel. Push place. this button. Walk over here. <laughs> oh, this poor fella. Gordon, I'm busy. Well, good luck with your vacation. I hope you can get it. Just a minute, Gordon. This looks just They need like... you in the test chamber. Yes, I know. This looks just like that other room that we were in. Oh, finally the test lab. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, Aubrey. Yes. Can I go in your little door? No. Hello. Hi. Oh. Oh. Sorry. No time for cold feet, Chief. Step right up. What does your book say? The big yellow book of useful scientific words and phrases. That reminds me of these books. I don't know even if they make them anymore, but they were called like such and such for dummies. Scientific you phrases for dummies. <laughs> All right, let's go. Ah, uh, here he is. Hi. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. <gasps> this guy, I know that guy. He's from the, he's the narrator in the Stanley Parable, isn't he? I want to talk to him more. Buddy. The higher-ups will have our heads if we delay this experiment any longer. Well, it's going to be delayed because I'm going to talk to you for a lifetime. Once this is all over, you can slip out of that <laughs> HEV and get back to the real work. Paperwork. Lots and lots of paperwork. No, thank you. You, I want you. Are you waiting for something, Gordon? Yes, shut up. I want... He's just savoring the moment. Yes. One day, he'll look back to this as the beginning of his illustrious career. <laughs> There's no need for performance anxiety, Dr. Freeman. <laughs> of course not. You're a seasoned pro by now. <laughs> Please, talk to me. Talk. No. No. 
No. What about you? Oh, You're no. just postponing the inevitable. Just go on and get it over with. No, I want this guy. Hello, please, please. Oh. All right. If you won't talk to me anymore, I'm going. So this. Oh no 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 no! I'm scared in there alone. Come in with me, please. I don't want to go there by myself. And don't close the door. Don't close the door. Don't. Keeping an eye on you because I feel that you're going to close the door. Where do I go? <gasps> no! Testing. Testing. Help me out. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. Uh huh. Oh, uh, ladder. So we have to. All right, Gordon. Go up the your ladder? suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, mm -hmm. that way we can bring the anti-mask spectrometer to eighty percent and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Uh huh. You mean this thing? Oh, jeez. How do I hold it at 80% though? I don't know what I'm doing. Sorry. Very good. We'll take it from here. Oh, I can see them over there. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. Whoa. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Uh, things are very bouncy over here. Is everything okay? Stage two emitters activating now. I mean, uh, I don't Gordon, feel... We cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. Uh, please, work as quickly as you can. Well, what am I to do? Do I work on the computer? To 105%. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing Oops. a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well within acceptable balance again. Sustaining sequence. What do I do? We've just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Oops, I fell again. Oh, no. Where's the delivery system? This thing? I don't know. Standard insertion for non-standard specimen. Uh, if I have, tr I'm having trouble using Gordon, letters. Gordon, the carrier into the analysis board. I don't know where that is. Is it here? Is it this thing? What is he doing in there? Trust me, I don't know. You told me to go there. You told me to go in there. Well, open the door. <gasps> Their room's on fire? Oh no. What do I do? This whole place is falling apart. Can I turn this thing off? Oh damn. Okay, uh, I died. Hang on, what? Huh? What's that? Oh no, what is this thing? <laughs> What's that? The, I, I... Unforeseen consequences. What just happened? What what just happened? Huh? Oh my gosh. Oh no. There's blood on that door. This is broken. Oh my gosh. <gasps> He's a 
lamp. That might help. Breathe. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four. Can I help? One, two, three. <gasps> Breathe. Damn it. He's gone. He's gone. What? What happened two, to him? <gasps> oh, jeez. I'm pressing F. Oh, no, no, no. I've already seen aliens. E. <laughs> what 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 am I trying to pick up? Can I go? Oh, I see. I'm trying to That's the elevator. There's blood there, so someone's gone that way. Oh, this is where those people were, but they're not here anymore. And they're definitely not here. Oh! Maybe Warning. because he's there. What on Detected earth happened? Materials lab. High energy. Oh, look, I, I, we need to just get out. Get out. What is happening? There's someone. There's people. Listen. <gasps> Them. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade. <gasps> By Schrodinger's cat, he's alive. Gordon. Thank God for that hazard suit. <sighs> All the phones are out. I've seen things you I wouldn't can't believe. Reach anyone in the facility? You need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. Yes. There's no telling what kind of danger is. My God, what have we done? I don't know. Fascinating. What the hell is that thing? It's like a little flood creature from from Halo. Yes. Keep the suit on. Like, what is that? Ew. Uh, okay. W what do you think that is, sir? What an interesting anterior. <gasps> I wonder where its stomach is. Yuck. That's the thing that you're thinking of? Hello. Ooh, you certainly want out, don't you? Don't. No. My, you're a cute little thing, aren't cute. you? Cute. I'd almost hate to have to dissect one of these. <gasps> wow. Okay, well... I guess at least he's thinking from a scientific point of view, but um, it's not cute. I've got to find some place safe for Isaac, so I can go find my family. I fear the worst. I'm not surprised. There's literally blood everywhere. That guy, like what? Oh my gosh! Oh! Jeez! Oh, that's that room! That guy needs help. Oh, this place is... Oh! <gasps> no! I was so slow and he's just... he's gone. Down? No, 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 no. Biohazard warning in sector B and C. What? Oh, no. Oh! It's one of those. Oh, no, no, no. It's one of those thingies. It's one of those thingies. What, what am I doing? Control, crouch, jump. Oh, gosh. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, there's, there's things in here. There's weird bug things. Help. <gasps> get. No, get out. Get out. Get out. Open, open. Please. Oh, went through the window. Help us. Help get us out of here. Well, who needs help? Oh, he's in the elevator. Where are you? Can I use a tool? <gasps> yes. Yep. I don't even know how many people now. <gasps> no. Get off the ladder. Please get off. I I'm no good at getting off the ladder. <laughs> what? Where do I go? Where do I go? What about all the way up? Okay, <laughs> I go all the way up. My gosh, I feel so bad that I didn't save that poor person. Man, am I glad to see you. What the hell are these things, man? I don't know. Ask God to follow. Oh, there's a thing. All right, this go. way, this way, there's a thing coming. I don't have a weapon. <gasps> no way. I I need weapons. This has just all turned into a disaster. What about you? Like what what are these? Mate. We get Jesus, this place is in bad shape. I don't even know what's happened. <gasps> help, help. Sorry, Freeman. Well, you get points for try. I need a weapon. I need a weapon. Can you please please come here? You know where to find me. Oh no no. Follow me. Follow me, please. Lead the way, sir. Yes, yes, yes. I'm just trying to get the, um, the flare. My gosh. Well, th this is not good. Help. Get your gun out this way. I think I just got a promotion. <laughs> what? Mate, shoot at them. Can you please? Oh my gosh. They are... They're scientists. Oh no, what's down there? Oh dude, I'm way too scared to go down there. Oh, but I am curious. I am curious. Oh, okay. I cannot. I cannot, I cannot. Dude. This shit is something out of a sci-fi movie. Yep. Some, I, 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 I don't know, I don't know what's happening. I'm, I'm wanting a gun. Yeah, you be careful in there, Doc. Well, come in with me. Let me get her. There's a thingy down there. More flares. Oh, that flare ran out, I think. Okay, they only last for a little bit. Don't let them get near you. Yep, will you take them out? Take them out. Come on, dude. Did you take out the other guy? Good job, good job. I think they're all dead. Oh, 
Oh no, my flare. My flare. I don't really know what that is. I think it's a good thing though. My flare. I lost it. Uh, okay. I oh, I stepped in fire. Oh no. Oh no. I don't think there's anything else here. Let's just go. Which way, sir? My bad. I don't know which way. Is it this way? <gasps> this is the... Oh, dude. Get your gun. Get your gun. Please. Ah, yes, you sure did. Let me get out of your way. Oh, no. This is the bathroom. Where's my dude? Okay, grab what you gotta grab, but don't <gasps> it. My locker. What about the guy in the toilet? <gasps> Bring it on. Ha! Bullseye. No way. Can I use that? Oh, nice. Oh, beautiful, 100%. That's where he was. Oh, uh, sorry, man. This is insane. Can I take? You know, I wanted to take... Uh, I can't take a picture with me, can I? That would just be silly. There's no other hazmat suit here. I thought maybe there'd be one for my mate. No. Okay, well, I guess we'll just move on. Ooh. Oh, I can't. Oh, yeah, I can't get in there. Excuse me. Okay, let's go. Can't go in there. All right, come on, buddy. Oh, this is so scary. I am so thankful I have my friend. Here comes more of those things. Yep. All I've got is you. Man, did you see that shot? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like that? That's pretty good, mate. Good job. Good job. Oh, I cannot believe that this has happened. I was having the best time looking around, admiring. Oh, jeez! Did you see that guy fling that bin at me? Dude, get him. Please. How many, how many bullets do these things take? I wish I had a gun. I don't have any weapons at all. This is back in the little reception area. Oh, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, boy. Oh, I don't... Get to the admin office upstairs. Watch out, because there's a dude there. Shoot him. Shoot him. Please, don't be get off the phone. There's something coming. God. <gasps> help, help, help. Shoot at him. Shoot. Oh, no. I can't do anything. He's going to die. Well, he's going to die. I have no weapon. I don't even think I want to get down here, you know? Oh my god. 
gosh, I don't have a weapon. Oh, there's something. Nice. I need to go back and help my buddy. Can I get back upstairs? I don't know. I don't know. I need to at least try. Get! Oh, you know what? I don't think I can. No! No. I need... I need to reunite with him again. I need to see him again. How do I... Uh, how do I get back there? I'll help you! I'll help you! Let me in! Let me in! I can help! Let me in there! He's dead. anything with that and oh this is not good die 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 <laughs> this room is just scary it's blinking blue oh wait oh I cannot drop this crowbar this is the only thing that I have protecting me I can hear gunshots. Oh, I've got a gun now? How did I just get that? Dude, are you okay? I think I accidentally shot him. We won't talk about that. We won't mention that at all. How do I get through there? Okay. a scanner thing. I wonder if that guy... That's a scanner thing. I thought I could take that over to that guy. I can't drag him over. Well then... What now? Oh, I... I can go back. Oh gosh, I've got limited bullets. I might be going that way. This is where I came from, but unfortunately... I mean, as you can see, I cannot... I cannot get back out unless I can sort of build a little thingy to stand on. With the chairs, maybe. <laughs> oh, I need to, I need. I'm gonna try. That puts me about the same level. Ew. Oh, this is just awful. Yep, I'm gonna build a little... A little makeshift pile of of junk size that I can stand on and be able to get back to my friend. So this may take a little bit of uh, wrangling <laughs> but I think we can do it. Get up. No. <laughs> Don't worry about the fire. I need to somehow jump and press control and space at the same time. You know what? I don't actually think that it's possible. I do see a security guard's body. What if I could find someone's head? Pick up a head and put it in the, the eye scanner. 
machine. No, this is not going to work. It's not going to work. Never mind. Oops, I just wasted precious bullet. That looks good to me, right? Come on. I need to somehow jump. No, no, that's not good. I'm not okay with that. You know what? I don't think that's the way. I don't think that's the way we go. So in that case, I guess I don't really know what we're doing. And get through there. It's like that place before. Yeah, it wouldn't let me through before. So really. I don't think that's possible. That, I can drag it. All right, well, I don't know. I'm gonna try something not good. What if I shoot at his head? No, his head doesn't come off. thing I can think of is to get that guy to open it but I can't get him over here I can't get his head off <laughs> and this thing doesn't it just doesn't work and I can't go back into the other room and this is the only the only thing that I can think of to open that door <sighs> I can't just Oh, come on. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Well, we made it into somewhere. I've got to save that guy before he gets killed and eaten. Die. Buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Are you okay? Okay. No. He's... He's not okay. Oh, wow. That... That room. Look, I, I wish that... Oh, gosh. I wish that I didn't waste my bullets or use too many bullets. What is this? All this white stuff. Hang on, it sounds crunchy. Like snow. But that cannot be. That cannot be snow. It's just not possible. Can we please leave? Can we please find a person? We can get out of here. That box is flammable. So let's step back and shoot at it. A little bit. <laughs> Jeez, that was dangerous. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh no, this is just. This is just scary. There's a thing in there. I can't go in that door though. What's that up there? Oh no. Damn it, I pressed the I pressed the wrong button. I really would like to get in there. Oh <gasps> the handprints. The handprints. Can I get up there? You know, probably not. It looks too too small. But this Is there anything in there that I can shoot though? There's a, there's a thingy in there. Oh, what if he comes over and moves that thing out of the way? I can sort of tempt him. 
come and get me. Come on, come and get me. Come and get me. Come on. Come on. I feel that like I've just I've just wasted. I've literally just wasted so many bullets for no reason, but I wanted to see what was in there. Maintenance personnel. Maintenance. Can't get in there, but I was so curious. Handle to open door in emergency. Well, where's the handle? <gasps> What's that? What is that? Oh gosh, where's the handle? It flooded. I flooded that room. Is it continuing to flood? Right. Well, um, I'm up to the next floor. Ugh. Jeez. Right, I, I would love a stash of bullets somewhere, please. What's that? I don't know. I don't know. It, I don't know if it's worth shooting. Hello. Oh, wow. Thank you very much for that. Ew. That's gross. That yucky little thing. Oh. Oh no. It plopped off his head. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh look at that. I can I can pick up big boxes. Alrighty. Someone else I, I someone else I didn't save. Ew. Oh no. Oh no. Can I lift up the ladder? No, not a leg. No. 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 <laughs> no. I want to lift up the ladder so I can go up there, please. What about the barrel then? I don't think it's... It's probably not possible, but... Someone else I couldn't save. <laughs> oh, jeez, what just happened? <gasps> what? What? Hello? They have little things? Little stalk things coming down. <gasps> no. They have little stalk thingies coming down that get you. Oops. Oh, I'm wasting so many bullets. Stop it. You hideous creature. Yep, my bullets are gone. Get out. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think you can actually. There's a dude up there. Excuse me? Did you not just see me? Oh, hi. What's that thing? It's like a dog gone wrong. <laughs> You. <laughs> I don't know what that thing is. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> it's sort of like a dog, but it looks kind of like a caterpillar as well. What? Okay, I think that may be a really good spot to leave our first episode. I don't really have any clue right now about how long these episodes are going to be or 
where a good stopping point for each episode is in games like uh, Halo or Assassin's Creed or games that actually have like a defined mission start and mission end point they're a little bit more easier to plan but games like this I don't really know how long it's going to take me to move through one section to the other so I might just keep the episodes around this kind of length of time so if I could just aim for that I think that's a really good starting point. Uh, first impressions boy I'm glad I got a chance to really look around and enjoy this amazing complex before things just turned to not a very good situation. Something happened. Something unforeseen happened. Uh, there's a lot of deaths. There's a lot of my colleagues are dead and have been turned into like zombie things with things on their head. But I honestly have to say that it feels to me that Gordon didn't really have a lot of friends <laughs> in the office. So, you know, we've lost a lot of people that we probably didn't really like anyway. But it, it's a tragedy. Whatever's happened, this was unplanned. And I don't know how to fix it. I don't know if anyone can fix it. I saw that guy on the the back step and I'm thinking what's up with that who's that he just stared at us and he walked away you would think that in this situation that he would actually say something call out and say hey what's going on do you need help let's help each other but no he didn't do that you know why because I think whoever that guy is he's bad well Okay, maybe I've jumped the gun a little bit. Maybe he's also just looking out for himself. But I don't think so, because he wasn't panicking. He wasn't running. He was walking very calmly away, wasn't he? So something's going on with him, and we will get to the bottom of it. Uh, I hope that we can go back to that reception room and find that guy who was um, getting beaten up by one of these creatures. I'm looking forward to playing more. I have to say that I didn't realize it would be a little bit scary, but it kind of is. It's got some weird zombie creatures and I wasn't expecting that. So that's a nice surprise, isn't it? <laughs> Overall, my impressions are really good so far and I'm interested to see what happens when we play this again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode and I will see you in the next one. Have an awesome day. Bye.